This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This is Luca Parrott, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. Don't cut my Luca off like that. <laughs> Cuts himself off. Hello, welcome back. It's been a while to another episode of Legends of the Arrowverse. That's right. What's the special occasion? The series finale of Black Lightning. And some of the other shows. We had a big revelation on these I am Phil. Join me as always. It is. Hey y'all, it's Little Hellfire. And another black hero bites the dust. Oh. <laughs> Yowza! I guess that's why they had to bring Diggle back, but we'll get there. Oh boy. So, yes. We're going to be covering all, all the Arrowverse, but specifically, yes, the Black Lightning series. Hey, we got what? Four seasons? But there were thirteen episodes. One was one season was sixteen. True. Like, like, like let's not let's not pretend like it yeah. ain't what it ain't. Okay. <laughs> I gotcha. Yep. 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 It never. Okay. Like it never lived up to its potential. For better or for worse, I don't know why that is. It just didn't. Um, after season one, they wanted to be their own thing. I mean, maybe we should. I mean. Should they they have- had to be their own thing because no offense to the rest of the Arrow- Arrowverse writers' room, it's white, 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 painfully white. They wanted the show to be black, 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 very black. Yes, yeah. Um, well, I mean, again, it's like you know, you could show up once a year for. Cry- I mean, look, I mean, I thought Crisis went okay, and but again, they probably saw the thing that I see in Diggle. And Laurel, Laurel's best friend, and every other, and Mister Terrific, and every other black person in the Arrowverse, and hey, those are the vibes. I get it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I get. Trust me, I get it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> so it's like, mm, I don't know. Uh, I think they really made a mistake with going with the older. Like, I like it personally, but like him being the older hero, having a family, and then focusing on his daughters when that's not what Black Lightning fans wanted. Well, again, it's CW. You know, you, you know what we get, love. I mean, we get a lot of disappointment, but <laughs> but again, it, I mean, but I thought this se- I thought the series finale specifically was like, damn. And again, yep, he's a black man. <laughs> Can't have a happy ending. Nope. <laughs> Like, basically buried a lot, like, wow. Like, come on. Well, I mean, the very end, he kind of got a happy ending, but I mean, yeah. And again, this season seemed to move quicker. That was my problem with some of the earlier seasons. Like, it didn't seem like it was... The well, they had to wrap it up! <laughs> I know. Well, that's what I liked. I'm like, oh, right, we're getting somewhere. And then, uh... Alright, spoilers for those of you, you know, if you didn't watch it, you know, pause this or whatever, but, uh... So they got China back for the, uh... uh finale. Well, that was always the plan. Oh, was it? I wasn't sure. Yeah. Was like, oh, yeah come back. She, that was kind of in her episode count was the finale. Oh. So. so. They, okay, so they cut it short and they're like, okay, we'll do you for, we'll get you for the finale. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so so fake Jennifer was always supposed to be fake? Okay. For all intent and purposes, yes. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, to be fair, China's a little wishy-washy, so. True. That's why I say what I say. If you know, you know. I'm not going to get too much into it because I do like China, but it is what it is. But I, I, did, um, I did like that, though. When she reappeared, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Surprised me. <sighs> it was just, I don't know. I know, but but for, but again, I th- like you were saying, like for the finale, it's like we could have gotten a little more Black Lightning. Again, that's what happens when you cast a 43-year-old four year, well, five years ago, you know? Ooh. And I love Cress Williams. You know, hey, just always remember, he dated Donna on 9021, Beverly Hills 90210, okay? And he was and he was Scooter on Living Single. That's how I always remember him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> and, and what's your problem with 43-year-olds love Hellfire? 
Nothing, nothing at all. I'm just saying to lead a superhero show, that was always going to be a problem. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, uh, I mean, honestly, I never saw the show going past five seasons, and, well, I'm sure it. Oh, my God. And, but, I mean, we finally, finally, we, uh, we killed Tobias. Yeah, that's about the best thing that happened. But I'm like, I'm like, they just like left him impaled up there on that rooftop. It's just like, yeah, they're having a party. It's like, wait, no one was. And gonna- that's how you know it's a black superhero show. <laughs> I know. I was like, wait, they're not going to call the cops or like bury the body themselves. It's, it's very Luke Cage, the Luke Cage of it all. <laughs> I was like, I mean, they didn't have the blue Marvel of it. All. <laughs> I mean, wasn't that like his power to like stay young? I'd be like worried he'd have a healing factor. If nothing else, I would be chopping up that body and like shipping body. Chop like- that head off and. Buried in cement, you're damn straight. Put it in, put it in a block of cement and drop it into the ocean. Yes, you're damn straight. Come on, people, we all know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was that was my favorite thing about the episode. Um, they really shouldn't have been trying to push painkiller because we knew that that spinoff was never going to happen. I was, you know what? When they first announced it, I was like, you know what? That sounds kind of dumb. But like the last couple weeks, it was kind of growing on me. I was like, you know what? I might be here for a painkiller spinoff. But I'm like. I know they're not going to do it because if they don't do Green Arrow and the Canaries, if they don't do any of the other... Which they're not. Yeah, but I'm saying with all the other spinoffs, they didn't, they're not doing Wonder Girl. If they're not doing all those that are, that are like, you know, kind of established DC properties, I'm like, they're not going to get the painkiller, unfortunately. Because like I said, it's been grown on me. I like that. I've been liking what I've been seeing, especially when like, you know, two personalities were like duking it out with... Lord Remember, Lord. we're winding down the Berlanti universe. Yeah. That's why that got called back. We're moving over to HBO Max. We're going to be very adult. So, then why are we greenlighting Naomi, or is, or is that going to be HBO Max? Might have a reverse Stargirl on our hands. Come on, That's let, all that I'm going to say. Come on, let's help fire spill some tea. Come on. It's not tea to be spilled, but when you think about it, yeah. and the talent behind it, and who they want, we might have a reverse star girl where it starts off on the CW and gets moved over to HBO Max. And we all, and we also got the announcement. Uh, was it yesterday? They were saying, I guess next, the, the beginning of the Flash season eight. Like, the, was it the first five episodes? They're going to focus on, you know, there's, we might crossovers. Get, yeah, we, we might get a Black Lightning episode with him in the Flash. I wonder if we're going to be like. Weren't they talking about doing something with Star Girls? So I wonder if we're going to get a Star Girl episode. I wonder if we're going to like introduce Naomi here before her series, maybe. I don't know if they want to taint that. Oh. Like, Flash is on the way out. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, it's they're trying to struggle to get to that ten year marker. They're trying to do the Smallville thing, but I just don't feel like it's going to happen. But I just wonder if they're going to like try to introduce her to you know non. Yeah, that's what I mean though. They don't want to taint that. They don't I want know, that yeah. to be connected. But it's like I wonder. They if want I'm... that to be. I'm surprised we're trying to do Star Girl because yeah, they want the Flash audience. We're trying to disconnect everything, you know. Yeah, because want... Flash is old now, you know. Like know. she's still in high school. He's. But, married with like 80 kids now in oh the future my. but i mean it's just you know i wonder they, i think they want that flash audience because i saw so many comments online like what even do you know like, because it's a very small audience now i mean yes it's the best show on cw i mean the uh the most ratings on the cw but uh star girl is younger and it'll grow once she you know right. especially now that we don't have to share that spotlight with dc universe well, yeah, I hope there's so. nothing but room to grow so I, I, i'm just saying i don't think the demos mesh i hope so but it's just i've seen comments for you know from all the people who don't read comics what's naomi who's naomi that's just like well <laughs> naomi's gonna have that black lightning problem too so yeah you know a, a black female <laughs> yes a young black oh female. she's gonna have it 10 times worse it's gonna be yeah. batwoman on steroids because it because it because is that like a newer act? Oh, well, she she has to be kind of like newer because she's younger. But I was like, at least Cress Williams was like a, you know, people knew who Cress Williams was. Yeah. I mean, but honestly, I think Naomi can stand on her own. Like, oh, yeah. it's going to be the comic book people that hold this show up. Oh, it's yeah. going to be the people that are interested in the talent behind that book at and all those the, things. At least in the beginning, yeah. But yeah, um, can I just shout out to CW for making the worst business decision I've ever seen the CW make? Which one? And that- that's by going to seven nights a week for original primetime programming. Sundays are not doing well. Why are we opening up to Saturday when everybody's out partying, especially your demographic, especially now that the pandemic's winding down? Did you say Sundays? 
No, Saturdays. Oh, Saturdays. Sundays aren't doing well, and they're opening it up to Saturdays. Now, true enough, they're going to have, like, reality or, you know, very cheap, like, you know, um, whose line is it anyway kind of stuff, but oh, that's just yeah. spreading the marketing budget. It is insane to do this right now. So do you think maybe... Wait, are they starting now, like in the summer? Like no, no, they're starting in in, in the fall oh, okay. of 2021, okay. 20, the 2021, 2022 season. Is it, is it like prime time, like eight o'clock and stuff? Yeah, eight o'clock to ten. Okay. Oh, wow. who's watching? Who's watching to see who's going to stay home from a hot day or drink it out at the bar because that is their demographic. Thirteen to twenty-seven is their demographic. Ain't nobody going to be at home at 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock watching that on Saturdays. Well, I know you were drinking at 13, but maybe, they, I mean, and again. <laughs> you know what I mean. You're out at the skating rink. You're, you're out at the football games, like, or homecomings, things like that, you know. Or maybe. maybe it don't make sense. Or, or again, like we said, you know, some, some of the superhero stuff, they're reaching out to the male audience because, you know, they had a big, what, female audience before. Maybe they're reaching out to the old people, you know, maybe, the, you know, for, the, for those old people who can't stay up for Saturday Night Live throwing some comedy on earth why would you ever deprive yourself of sleep for saturday night live when you can just watch the clips on youtube <laughs> again old people lilith they don't know the youtubes they, oh my grandma knows the youtube so i'm pretty sure old people know the YouTubes. <laughs> but yeah no like it's um what I, I was surprised that uh black lightning stayed on for long for as long as it did i i enjoyed the setting and that it was different because it was shot in atlanta but so is vampire diaries so also star girl as well but like it definitely had a different vibe from all the shows and i just really was here for his wife like i'm not gonna lie like uh, she never got anything interesting to do unfortunately like we were all hoping Mm -hmm. yeah i mean but the daughters were cool just too much focus i hate that it kind of became their show yeah, though, like the like the acting and everything was great. I just you know some of the, some of the stuff they were. Getting. It was dry. It was yeah. slow. Yeah. It was repetitive. You gotta. I mean, it took all that time to kill Tobias. Really? Yeah, four seasons. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not saying you had to kill him. I mean, if they would have locked him up by season two or something, it's like like yeah, he he they never let him be competent. It was a very much uh, Oliver Queen and Arrow kind of thing. Like you know, oh, you stopped one bomb, but the other one went off. Oh, Tommy died. Oh, your mom died. <laughs> you know, like honestly, he never really won anything on his own when you think about it, and that's kind of where Black Lightning kind of ends up as well, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, I mean, I get, I know they had to move along the pacing in the last season, but that last episode seemed quicker than anything I've ever seen on this show. I'm just like, boom, boom, boom. No, no, no. Biggest waste of time. What happened to Lauren? Wait, what? We spent all that time, you know, introducing her family, and then it's just, that was a waste of time this oh, season. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, although, I... I thought I heard somewhere that they said when China decided to leave that they didn't know that it was their last season. So did they like start filming the season and then, like then they got the word that it was the last season? So they did they have to like honestly I couldn't say I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> but I'm just saying I, I wonder if they had to like you know start re- rewriting stuff and like you know change in some direction because they found out it was their last season maybe. I don't know editing editing is a mother effort you know. Mm-hmm. I, I guess I'll leave it at that, uh, probably. <laughs> oh, boy. But I'm just kind of sad that um, people really never got behind uh, Black Lightning like they did for Luke, uh, Luke Cage. It's kind of sad. <laughs> like, after the first season, literally nobody that I used to live tweet with, they just stopped live tweeting it for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, do you think maybe it's too because it's CW? I mean, Luke Cage was Netflix, so it's like, you know, where's that? More people weren't interested in that because it was uncensored. They could do what they wanted. You know, CW can't be. It really wasn't even. I mean, it's on par. Their budget was on par in the oh, storylines no. too. Don't at me, y'all know it's true. <laughs> I mean, outside of his stuff with like the defenders and stuff, they're very much giving CW budget. Oh, okay. Daredevil's the only show that got a budget on Netflix out of the Marvel stuff. So. Well, because, but I mean, it, well, Punisher, but that was later. Yeah, but I was gonna say, unless you read, you know, unless you read comics, who were the household names out of that group? Daredevil and the Punisher. Yeah. So. 
I was going to say. I'm just saying, with Netflix, you can be different. With the CW, you can be different. They could have chosen to give him a bigger budget like they did for Batwoman in her first season. Oh. I wonder what the difference is. $5 million plus budget on every episode in season one of Batwoman. Whoa. I hesitate to say what the budget was for this show. Whoa, whoa. And, then, then, and how did that pan out for you working with Ruby Rose? That's all that I'm saying. And then season two, didn't they cut the budget on Batwoman? Well, they had to. Yeah. I mean, every every with TV every year your budget gets cut, so you have to do yeah. more with less. But specifically, they wanted Bat Batwoman to be a thing, and they specifically made her budget higher than any other CW uh, DC TV show, and it was garbage. <laughs> Y'all can at me if you want to, but y'all know what season one was. An absolute hot mess. Whereas season one of Black Lightning was definitely more focused. I, th I thought the storytelling was much better, much more cohesive, much more character development. Oh, yeah. For what it's worth. I like season one. Season two is okay, too, as well. It's just... I mean, season one was very grounded, like, almost like in the real world, you know, but then it just... Exactly. Getting goofier and goofier, yeah. Yeah. Very much, it, it, it suffered the same problems that Arrow did, but for very different reasons. <laughs> and again, the again the end of the of the finale. Oh my God, can Lala just die already? <laughs> okay, I thought I was the only one. Thank you. I don't have to be me. I don't have to be the only me person. <laughs> I mean, talk about cutting the head off and dropping it in the ocean. I mean, come on. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, how can you take somebody with the name Glaze? Seriously. Whoa! <laughs> like your toaster strudel. I ain't got time for that. Oh, why? Oh, why? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, ooh, you don't have a physical form. How scary. Get out of here. <laughs> but again, I'm like, like I said, the painkiller kind of grew on me, so it's, it's like, I would have I gave that a shot. I wouldn't have. Unless it was on CWC and it was like five minutes. CWC is where it's at. If y'all don't know, if y'all ain't hip to CWC, that's where some of the best CW stuff comes from. I mean, you know what they should have did? Painkiller, they should have kept it out of the rest of the Arrowverse, just done like a straight up like uh, spy action thing, and it's just like, you know, don't cross it over with anything, just make keep it its own thing. Try to do like that season one of Black Lightning. Honestly, I think Black Lightning was way better off doing its own thing. Like he, like specifically, that character doesn't mesh well with anybody else in the Arrowverse. Well, again, like you said, I said it's it started in the real world, and they kind of kept like tweaking it and tweaking it. That you know, to it to it. So I mean, I think I think it would have done much worse had it been more. Like I feel like the 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 crossover stuff was very weak that they had for Infinite Crisis. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. well, they really didn't have anything. They basically just got, you know, showed the wave wiping everything out, and then he just showed up in, like, the Flash and stuff. Exactly my point. Yeah. I, why I was wondering, it was like, was, it, was, like, was, that the, was that the people on Black Lightning who were like, yeah, we, we're going to keep our... Well, look, here's the thing. When DC, when, when Mark Pedowitz tells you to do something, you do something. So that goes down to Greg Berlanti. That goes down to the rest of the, whether or not they like it or not. They're still part under that Berlanti production, the whole thing. So, I mean, they kind of gave her the Supergirl treatment. Because remember that one crossover, all her part was at the end, Barry and Cisco jumped out of a portal and says, oh, we need you. Uh-huh. Mm. Exactly. Yes. So. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm feeling a common theme here. <laughs> That's all that I'm saying. CW's got to get it together, man. <laughs> For as woke as they pretend to be, I see straight through the BS, is all that I'll say. But um, I hope that um, we're able to, because, you know, Batwoman will probably be, well, it is confirmed, right, that next season is its last season, so. Oh, did they confirm that? I wasn't sure if they did or not. I'm pretty sure it's confirmed. So, so, um, so I think that's why Naomi, they definitely picked up Naomi for that reason. So, so what's going on on Batwoman is, like... Yeah, I mean, we, re, ah, we recast Kate. Is she can eventually taken over again? And it's like, why didn't you just do that? I don't think one? they can even do that if they wanted to. Do you know the outrage, the negative That's freaking right. attention that they would get from that? That's what I figured. So I was like, what's the point of why did they do it? Why did they recast Kate just so they could, you know, if I mean, recast her to kill her? I'm like again. You should, you should have just killed her. I mean, you could have had somebody face down in the, in, you know, first episode of season two. There's a body face down. Oh, Kate's dead. 
washing up in the Gotham, Gotham Harbor, as you do. And she survived the plane <laughs> crash, but she got some too much of that Gotham River water. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> So yeah, it's just the CW uh, DC TV shows are just in such a mess that I actually like. I was very, uh, I'm very apprehensive about Naomi being on CW. I'm very apprehensive about Stargirl being on CW right now. They're just making one terrible decision after another. Well, I, well, if the rest of the Arrowverse eventually, you know, th- what do we have left after Batwoman? Well, we have Legends and Flash. Le- Batwoman, Legends, Flash. Well, ba- Batwoman's done next year, so if they try to stretch out Flash to season 10, Supergirl's done this season. Yeah. Uh, Superman and Lois. Ooh, yeah. I always forget about that show. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you watch it this week? Mm-mm-mm. Oh, you missed the big revelation. Tell me. Spoil everything All so right. I don't have to watch it. Big spoilers, kids. Uh, yeah, they ran it. They, they ran captain luther's fingerprints and they got a match with someone from this reality and no it is not lex luther little hellfire brandishing his trademark weapon against superman the prince came back captain luther was actually john henry irons we don't talk about that guy well it's not it wasn't shaquille o'neal no, but still, it's still tainted. So yeah, that I, legacy is tainted. So yes, he he's actually John Henry Irons, not Luther. Well, of course they couldn't let a black guy be. Oh, oh I guess because Harley Quinn called dibs on a black Lex Luther. I forgot. My bad. What was I thinking? If you don't know, yeah, that's what they said. If you don't know about that whole thing, even though in the original animated series, I mean, he's not. I mean, was that their pl- was that their plan from day one that bait and switch us and say, "Hey, we got a Black Luther from it from the multiverse." Well, it didn't make sense and it made people like, angry. So yeah, I think it was It's just like mm, I don't like the villain being the black guy. That's all that I have to say about that. Let lo- you know, I don't like. Mm. I mean, he. I mean, he still tried to kill Superman this episode. He put him under some red solar lamps and uh, yeah, he tried to kill him until the boys hit him with a truck. Oh, are we doing the Smallville thing where every every episode the, the truck gets wrecked <laughs> and then magically fixed? <laughs> pretty, pretty much, yeah. And then oh, we got a stupid scene. Yeah, once they take out the solar lights, like Clark gets up and he's about ready to like just like really lay into him. And the, you know, Lois is like, "Stop, stop!" He's down. And it's like, so you're still enjoying it? It's still fine. They're not putting too much drama on the kids in that love triangle with Lana's kids or whatever the some, hell they were trying to do there. Some episodes uh, there was too much kids, but this one it, it was, they kind of laid back on the kids. And it was more like uh, Clark and Lois, and you know, yeah, like when are you gonna learn? I didn't come for the kids, baby doll. I came for Superman and Lois. <laughs> Although, um, uh, who is it? Uh, Jordan's uh, his hearing's going haywire now, so yeah, he was like. You know, because last episode he like basically collapsed on the front porch, and Clark had to like whisk him off to the fortress. So, oh poor thing. Now you know what I thought would have been funny if one of them gets like all the like cool powers but can't fly, and then the other kid just gets the power of flight. Well, that's what I, well that's what I thought they were gonna do with like in the first episode is they were gonna like split the powers down the middle or something. You know, half one of them was gonna get half, and the other ones get the other half. Just give me flight. I don't want the rest of that. Oh, flight and, and uh, of course, invulnerability. Those two. Those two things have to go hand in hand. <laughs> well, I don't know if you saw last week's episode, but Jonathan... Is no, not- I'm not watching that show. Okay. You know how I feel okay. about that show. <laughs> well, Jonathan is not invulnerable. Not yet. Wait until real puberty kicks in. Because Jordan got uh, was like about to get in a fight with a football player. He threw a punch at him, and his brother stepped in the way and threw his hand up, and he broke his brother's hand. I mean, I'm just telling you, it takes 18 years of, of Earth's sun for half half humans. That's all I'm saying. The minute they turn 18, I'm telling you, it's all like Donkey Kong. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I'm glad that people are still enjoying it. I don't see a lot of people really talking about that show online anymore either, so the buzz is definitely well, died down. I, I think I think the break kind of hurt it, because what did they do? Did they do like four or five episodes and they had to take, I think they had to take a break because COVID or something, so that's when they put on Supergirl for a couple weeks and then that took its mid-season now Le- Superman and Lois is back. They just, they're never gonna learn, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like those, br- like, bro, we've been hungry for 
for original content. There ain't no way in the world all your shows should be popping on online with all that buzz. Like, there's just yeah. no way. Again, I think they said they had to do it. They had to do it because there was like, I don't know if there was someone tested positive over there or something. So. Um, that happens. But uh, hopefully, hopefully everybody by, you know, by the end of summer will be waxed, vaxxed, and relaxed like I am. Yeah. <laughs> That's the goal, guys. Get it together. I love how I love how she acts all hip and cool, but meanwhile she has a couch in her uh, house uh, just for the dogs. A full couch, she, people. Full leather couch. Yeah. <laughs> a human butt has never touched. I live alone. I'm a crazy old dog lady. What do you want? You're from talking me? about people with kids, and you're like, man, that couch is just for my dogs. <laughs> My dogs are better behaved than most people's kids. That's all that I'm saying. I was going to say, you better... I don't appreciate that I can't take them to a restaurant. (laughs) Oh, my God. I know. Kids would love that. (laughs) Um, But the Flash is, you know, they're trying. They're trying their best. We're defeating enemies with love, Lil' Hellfire. Care Bears. At first, I thought we were going to be Power Rangers, but nope. Turns out we're Care Bears. Different Team colors. Flash or Care Bears. Different colors, shooting shooting lights and stuff. Yep, yep. Although, we kind of wrapped up, uh, I don't know if you watched this week's episode, we kind of wrapped up the Force. Of course I did, because, you know. Because what? Because <laughs> I had to. <laughs> you don't watch Superman and Lois. That's, I just honestly, I don't feel like that's super connected because I don't feel like Supergirl's super connected. There, I said it. I'm, I'm not attached to those shows because they're, they're tangential to the main Arrowverse as far as I'm concerned. I mean... No, they wish they were super connected. <laughs> that's right. No, it's... A, well, Supergirl, the problem this season is like, I don't know if she was still, you know, on maternity. It's like... Man, that show has gone downhill. Like they shouldn't even call it Supergirl. Melissa anymore. They should just call it DOE at this point or whatever. I was gonna say everyone else had more screen time than her this season so far. It happens, man. Like it's it's I don't like my superhero shows as ensembles. I, I don't know how I can how much I can stress that. Why do we do that? Do we do that so do we try to get a mixed group so like everyone can see themselves somewhere in uh all I'm saying is, uh, yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that show? I'm not okay with this. Focus. I mean, it's tangentially superhero comic book related, but I'm saying it focused on that character, and a lot of people liked it because it focused on the one character and tangent. We didn't focus on really anything else but that character. I'm just saying, try it. Try it for a change. You Ooh. might. You might be pleasantly surprised. True. Uh, it- Again, because I'm trying to, because you think about like some of the, or like think about the John Wesley ship flash, and then think about this flash. So it's like, do we do we like a big ensemble? Well, that was a very small team. That was three people, not twenty. Yeah, true. That's what I'm saying. Is Every that- single DC superhero show turns into this weird ensemble cast where there's like ninety people in whatever uh, Star Labs, the Arrow Cave, DOE. It's just like God. More people know the secret than don't. Okay, I should have known it was you, Russell. Yes, because he's on a question. Russell! He's on a question kick now these days. Give the question an HBO Max series. Uh, I thought we are. Did, oh, didn't we have spill some tea? Spill some tea? No, I thought I read an article that said uh, the question was going to get spun out of GCPD, but that could have been uh, we hearted or something to that effect. But it makes sense for me. I mean, I mean, I know that they're working on a question property for something, and I would just assume that it would be HBO Max. You heard it here first, Russell. This no, 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 you didn't hear it here first. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, but I, I read a lot, and it's hard to keep it straight, honestly, because it's so much rumor and innuendo. He, he says the Spectre too. Not all, not all of her Spectre. Well, I mean, you can't be mad about that. I think do do it just. I- Come on, where's our Justice League Dark? Come on, Spectre, Constantine, Zatanna. That should have been the animated series that's being made, but, you know, those are just, that's just my two cents. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't, I I swear, like, the CW, WB, Warner Brothers, Warner Media as a whole, it's just a terrible organization. Give us, give us a TVMA animated series, yeah, you know, Constantine. I mean, Spawn's in the works, so. Oh, yeah, just like that movie we keep hearing about in the last 20 years. Oh, it's it's happening. Oh yeah, because we're getting. Oh yeah, 
Todd McFarlane is making his push. King Spawn is coming. Yeah, he is. He is making his push, so it's gonna happen. Well, yeah. I mean, you got Titans <laughs> again. Etrigan. Yeah, again. Justice League Dark Man. The things, I mean, honestly, just call me CW or DC, somebody. I, I'll get you together real quick, because obviously y'all are struggling. Because look at the Flash. Those, those That plot line this season is a mess. Or like, you know, uh, HBO Max, let's do some Justice, uh, Justice Society. I mean, it's getting a new book again by Jeff Johns. Honestly, I don't want HBO Max to do Justice Society. I would prefer for that to be on Cartoon Network, but like the late block of Cartoon Network. Okay. Ooh. I'm just saying more eyes. I want more eyes, so more merch, so we don't have a Teen Titan situation ever again. She wants a Jake Garrick helmet, kid. I really do. The Etsy ones just don't cut it. Nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the state of the Arrowverse has me very sad. It's going to be the end of an era pretty soon, and I don't know what I'm going to do. And like, really, it was the end of an era with Arrow, because I... Like, I just literally stopped watching everything. Like, I'll just binge watch stuff, like, two, three episodes at a time. I don't live watch. I don't live tweet. I don't want you I don't want you raging, but, uh, yeah, I believe Flash is off next week, and then the week after, I believe, is Carlos' last episode. I know. that. That's definitely why I'm going to live watch the hell out of that. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I used to love Carlos, but that whole wishy, don't be wishy-washy with me. I will turn on you. <laughs> So quick. Go back to Broadway, sing a sad song. I don't care at this point. Cut it. No, because it brought the momentum down of the um the season before last. It's like, mm, Cooper, get off the pot, kiddo. Oh, my God. And then, you know, Killer Frost is out of jail again. You know, we kind of, we, we, we kind of, uh, we kind of wrote that real quick. It's like, oh, yeah, made a deal. Yeah, okay. Well, that, when you got Mama was, Mama. Mama Cecile, you know. That's true. And then and then she pulled a little hellfire, you know. Now she's falling for the uh, pretty bad boy who's not good for her. The himbo. No, no, no. That's what, hap- that, that's what happens to guys that date me. That doesn't happen to me. <laughs> they're just stupid. <laughs> that's why they fall for me, because they're stupid. Oh, my. <laughs> there, I said it. I called myself out. It's fine. What, what the pretty person who's not good for them? <laughs> So yeah, I uh, I feel so bad for Killer Frost's character. Like we could have had something, but they've been messing up. I know. I'm like, I'm just like, bring Ronnie back from the dead already. Give her her happy ending and write that character off. She is doing nothing we're also gonna, on uh, Team Flash. We're also going to say, are we going to keep? You know, is is Daniel Panabaker going to keep doing double duty, or is one of them going to leave or get killed off or something, leaving the other one? Caitlyn and Killer Frost stays around. <laughs> Caitlyn is overstayed her welcome. I don't know how to tell y'all this, but that's, Caitlyn's useless. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, they're gonna pull a uh, Angel season five. Yeah, they're gonna kill her off and keep Frost. We don't talk about a Lyria film. God damn it! <laughs> why, why do you have to do this to me? I know, well, I'm still not. Over it like 20 years later. I'm still a, not I know it. it's a hole in your world. We get it. Oh my god, I remember that episode. I was like, wait a minute, they just like killed off Cordelia, they're not gonna kill off Fred. And I was like, oh, what? Oh, well, close enough. Well, well, you know, 2020 hindsight, look who's in, look who was uh, in charge of that whole thing. Well, we, we, we already knew a little bit. If you ever go listen to our re-listen to our angel, the sh- uh, the, our angel podcast, but, <laughs> the shade that I give without saying, but we, <laughs> know, like, mm. but we know a lot more now. Oh yeah, I, I can't even rewatch Buffy. I can't do it. Oh man, he tried to crush Ga- Gal Gadot, and she was like, "No." Anywho, let's not talk about that justice hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. I have high hopes for Stargirl. Uh, I have high hopes for Naomi. But I don't care about the rest of this stuff. I really don't. Have you been watching Legends? Yeah. It's it's Legends. You know, it's your fun feel. It's the Marauders of DC TV. Does it make sense? No. Is it fun? It, is it fun to watch? Yes. Is, are there pretty people and thing, pretty things to look at? Yes. Is it funny? Yes. Does it take your mind off your Sunday existential dread for Monday morning? Yes. 
and again, <laughs> and again, just like the the uh, you know making his meta commentary. It's like a revolving door. <laughs> And, and that's what he's here for at this point, until he's not. Exactly. So is so is uh, Katie Lots getting tired of the show too? Because I mean, we've I I think the last episode or two we haven't even seen her. It's just like okay. Well, it's about time they gave other people things to do. No shade. Oh yeah. And again, with a with an ensemble cast that big, some I mean, she is the main star. Let's just be real. So if she wants time off, she she gets time off. Oh yeah, with Brandon Ralph and everybody else going. Yeah, she's like the the number one. She uh, was the number one. She's always it's always been her show. Like, let's just be honest. Especially after uh, what's his face left. Um, yeah, Rip Hunter left. Yeah, not him. Nobody uh, was really there for him. But I'm just saying, um, she really, Captain Cold. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. you know, I can't think of his name right now. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. brain hurts. After he left, she definitely that became her show. Oh yeah. So definitely. Do you think they've been using um, Constantine well in this? This or nope, no. Yeah, I don't know. Just nope. just the whole singing episode one. I was just like, oh my god, we're doing this to Constantine. I can't. I'm like, it's 2021. We don't do singing episodes of TV shows anymore. I'm like, we're doing this to Constantine. Oh my god, remember how like hype Charlie was for the beginning of this season of Legends? And like last week, he's like, yeah. Notice we didn't talk about Legends this week. Yeah, he got turned off by that whole singing contest episode. Welcome to my world of, of how I still never watched that episode duet of The Flash. I mean, for... Refuse to do it. It wasn't bad for what it was. Is what it is. I'm just saying, not for nothing. I don't do singing episodes. I've done Buffy once more with filming only once. The live watch. I have never rewatched it again. Never. I don't do it. It's a turn off to people, bro. You know, it's a big risk. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, especially you know, you're trying to bring in the the, the straight. And hitter. nobody was really a good singer either. So <gasps> you're gonna say that about Jesse Martin? Or how dare you? I mean, there's no rent. How do you know? You didn't even watch it. <laughs> I know because I know. You watched it. You don't know so in a minute. No, I, I didn't. Wa- I watched a clip. I never watched the whole episode. Oh uh, well, who was singing? Melissa. Oh uh, well. And Grant. Oh okay. Well, I mean, I they, was like, save that for Glee, buddy. I don't think they were bad, but I think everyone else was better than those two. Okay. So I'm still not gonna watch it. But I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've never liked Glee, so I'm I'm just not that person. Yeah. Anywho, uh, yeah. Is there any uh, other news besides those five flash crossovers for the CW? I don't. Arrowverse. Oh, um, I think they said. Oh, yeah, because uh, I think they said that. I don't know when it's coming, but the season finale of Superman and Lois didn't they say? Um, oh, what's his face is uh directing the season finale. Um, you know Harrison Wells. Uh. Tom Cavanaugh. Yeah, Tom Cavanaugh is going to be directing the season finale of Superman and Lois. That's good for him. So, uh, so I'm assuming, you know, maybe, you know, again, this is his last season of The Flash. Maybe he's going to, like, pull a uh, thing and just, you know, start directing instead of acting on these things. Well... It's sad to see him go, but that that'll force the story to to go somewhere. Why, why they, they won't have to rely on that anymore. I saw the thing they were. Uh, oh, well, did you see the behind the scenes pictures? I guess sometime maybe it's the last episode of the season. I don't know, but it looks like Barry and uh, Eobard have to team up to take down Godspeed. I mean, I'm glad that they got Godspeed correct this time. <laughs> I'm glad that all it took was a, a crisis on multiple Earths for them to fix that, that but. Yeah. I don't think it, I don't think it requires a team up of those two. Yeah, I don't know. I, again, who knows what they're gonna do? You know, especially if this is like his last appearance as Eobard. You know. <sighs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You think they're just like, oh yeah, let's you know, all you actors, if you want to direct, yes, please direct. We don't so we don't have to bring Kevin Smith back. <laughs> that um it's as actors get older or, or just you know more seasoned in the industry they know where it's at is behind the camera and so 
you know, they can kind of flex their, their, their muscle on set a little bit and go, hey, I really want to direct an episode and start building their resume so that they can branch out. Like, um, look at Amanda Tapping from Stargate SG-1. She does a lot of sci-fi shows now. Just saying. That's just kind of a thing that you want to do as you get older. You don't want to have to constantly be on, like, a restricted diet. You want to eat a damn cupcake. I get it. Go behind the camera. Oh. It's more money to be made. Oh, yeah, and I'll shout him out again. I've been listening to the Delta Flyers podcast. Yeah, the, uh, what's his face? He played Tom Paris. And that's all he does is he directs a ton of stuff now. I mean, LeVar Burton, if you want to keep it in that family. True, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, Michael he- Dorn did some directing, too, as well, if I'm not mistaken. So. Uh, yeah, Jonathan Frakes does a ton of it. Uh, my, my favorite my favorite example is uh, Jason Priestley from 90210, although he doesn't even direct anymore. Mm. But, yeah, he used to, like, back in the like, late 90s, early 2000s, he directed surprisingly... Hmm. Quite a few episodes of different things, not just 90210, so. Nice. But yeah, LeVar Burton's the director now. He may soon be the host of Jeopardy. You know, that would be so nice. Like, start your childhood with Reading Rainbow and end it with LeVar Burton on Jeopardy. Like, that. that's kind, that's kind of a flex. I, I like that for us, guys. I like that for us. Yeah, think about it. As a kid, you watch Reading Rainbow, and then as you get, a, you get to be old, yeah, you get to end your life watching him on Jeopardy, yeah. <laughs> Get to see him five days a week again. That would be awesome. <laughs> hey, hey, man. You know, he's going to outlive us all. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but yeah, um, Black, Black uh, Lightning. Overall, as a series, it's not bad. But I don't think it's going to be, I don't think it's going to age well. Yeah, true. To oh. quote Diggle, that did not age well. <laughs> Well, I mean, you get far enough out. Do you think any of these C- CW shows are going to age well? I think the Arrow, uh, I think Arrow specifically will be okay. Okay, yeah, true. Because they kept it as grounded as they could. If you take all the crossovers out, it's a fairly ground. Well, until season eight with all the shenanigans with the daughter, but pretty well, okay. First five seasons, pretty solid. <laughs> hey, man, William is still being held hostage somewhere. <laughs> So I'm saying he's still bleeding out in the <laughs> Never forget, never forgive. We were robbed of Wildcat and a proper little backstory origin of becoming Black Canary. I will never be over it. Is that like when we talk about comic books changing creative teams? It's like, you know, did they get new writers and they just like, like yell up Wildcat bleeding out on the street? Well, um, actually, the J.R. J. Ramirez, they didn't lock down his contract uh, and he went to go do a show called Power where he got killed off, I think, in season one as well. But now he's doing Manifest, which is doing surprisingly pretty well. It's about that plane that disappeared and then came back, kind of like 4400, but on a plane. Yeah, I've seen the commercials, yeah. Oh, good for him. I watched the first season. It was intriguing, but I stopped watching TV for the most part. If it ain't on YouTube or Netflix, I don't care. <laughs> if I can't binge it, I don't want to watch it. I got my shows on the YouTube. I watch way too much YouTube. And TikTok? Way too much. I only, I only give myself two hours on TikTok. So once in, once in uh, after I get off work and once be- one hour before I go to bed. Okay. Yeah, because it's addictive, <laughs> so you yeah. have to pace yourself. So, so I, so I hear from people in Alaska. Yes, you should give it a try. It's well, mm, maybe not. <laughs> she's like, she's like, yeah, just, yeah, just try crack once. It, yeah, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Russell, you should try. <laughs> oh. Russell would like it. He's younger than me. He'd like it if he's not already on TikTok. <laughs> all you young, all you youngsters would like it. Connor McKenna. Get I'm it. not young. Like I love feeling like an old person. Get off my lawn on TikTok. It is the best feeling in the world. <laughs> it's like they're telling twenty five year olds they're too old, and I'm just here for it. They're like Whoa. you're geriatric millennials, and I'm like, Whoa. What, what about Gen X and Boomers? <laughs> like what? what? What's going on here? I don't think the Boomers even know what TikTok is. Oh, they're on there. That's the crazy thing. Really? It's so... It's, it's just, Like I said, I don't want to be responsible for anybody's addiction, but like, <laughs> you can you can track the... You can like just type in like a search term, like say DC Comics or Marvel Comics, and there's such great commentary on it. Of course, you have the trolls, as you do, but... Oh, yeah, it's the internet. It's all about your filter. I'm enjoying it. Keeps me bitter in my fandom. <laughs> But on that note, we should definitely go. Um, 
I just can't believe the Arrowverse has lasted this long. Like, they've done better than anybody could have ever expected. And I'm proud of them in a weird, perverse way. <laughs> So do you think Flash is, is eight gonna be it or are they gonna or are they gonna try to I think they're gonna do the ten. Okay. It's gonna be painful to watch if they can get the budget, because it's no talent with Warner well, Media at this point. And the cast is gonna shrink down too because with uh, Cisco gone, is the girlfriend gonna be going with him and then, you know, we're not gonna have any well. Can we get rid of Chester? Well, I, I think he's our uh, Cisco replacement, isn't he? We don't need a replacement. Can I just I I feel like after eight seasons, I still don't know who the hell Barry is, because we don't get enough screen time with him. I know, what happened to the guy who built uh, you know, built all this stuff in the future? It's like, come on. Yeah, exactly. So, and that's why we haven't had time for Iris, blah, 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 blah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess you could get rid of most of that cat. You know, a lot of that cast, it's like blow up Star Labs, just have them, you know, at home most of the time until he runs out, you know. <laughs> so just blow it up. I mean, it's getting broken into every other episode anyway, so. Seriously, that was like, well, you know, that was Eobard's thing, and, you know, just like blow it up. <laughs> Again, I mean, you know, Arrow, they got a new head, they got a new Arrow cave in like ep- season four. It's like. Season two and season four, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like... You know, I miss Verdot. I'm, I'm old school. I miss Verdot, man. <laughs> we need the makeover Star Labs or, you know, maybe it's time for something new. I, I feel like it's some time for something new for Flash, but in the eighth season, people tend to not mix it up too much. You yeah. know, that's more of a season four, season five thing. True. Even a season seven, because a lot of shows don't get past season seven, okay. especially on the CW. Or just like, a, or, you know, fix up that hangar. Our hall I've of been just- waiting. Our hall of justice, you know. Can can we take it back to the pilot and just like maybe that airfield? Yeah, let's, have, some fresh air. Have Flash working out of that hall of justice, and you know that'll work into those first five episodes next season. You know, oh hey, hey Black Lightning, let's go out. I don't think that they want to build a new set. I feel like- that set was CGI, like a, like I don't know something. Yeah, I think the outside. <laughs> weird. Well, the outside was something, but the inside you can do anything on a soundstage or whatever. True, but they don't want to build it. Like yeah. th- I'm telling you, when when you get past the se- the seventh season of a TV show, the budget gets so small. <laughs> that true. But yeah, I, th- I I feel like if Flash wants to go the Smallville route and do ten, they better make season ten a hell of a season. I mean, we've already did done the crisis, so what's left? I'm just waiting for the memes when Flash hits season nine and ten of uh, Grant standing over that grave, you know, arrow that says Arrow season eight. Going, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you only in it for the memes, sir? Because I know I am at this point. <laughs> oh, I love that meme, man! Just see him over that grave. Just... Remember when you shot me in the back? <laughs> hey, remember Arrow season nine and ten? Oh, wait, no, we don't. Poor Stephen Amell is trying to come back to you. <laughs> I think I might have made a mistake here. Oh, what? Is he trying to come back in the Arrowverse? Oh. I mean, y'all ain't heard that from me, but... I thought they said they would, I thought they said they would, like, do Arrow again in a heartbeat if he came back, or no. Um, do I want to say this? Should I say this? Kind of a after season five, he was kind of a prima donna and difficult to work with, and he was very upset that his teenage mutant ninja turtle Casey Jones thing didn't pan out. Oh why? So I mean, the, the more the further when you get away from a TV show, the more juice and dirt people are willing to spill. Is all that I'm saying, and I was here for it. So, but yeah, no, that's just the pleasantry that people say isn't in the he, business. Isn't he doing some wrestling show now or something? Couldn't tell you. He's not taking a shirt off. I couldn't tell you. Okay, I thought I thought someone was saying. Yeah, I thought someone was work was saying. Yeah, he's uh, doing some wrestling. Who is he? The Miz? Like what? what? I mean, that's where he should have went. He should have went to like the what is that? Uh, next, the next league for WWE or whatever. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know what he's doing, and I don't care. We're half. <laughs> of, we're half of those wrestlers. Like John Cena's on. Like, what is that? Wipeout now. You know. Where it's like you basically comment. John Cena 
saw The Rock and said, ooh, I want to get in on some of that Fast and Furious franchise. I'm just like, you ruined the franchise! Get out! For the love of God, get out! <laughs> that should be Stephen Amell. I mean, he should be like, you know, a commentator on like American Ninja Warrior or something. Hello? Ooh, they, oh, they don't do Beastmaster on Netflix anymore. That actually would have been very perfect for him. Sylvester Stallone must have ran out of money. But on that note, my ADHD is kicking in, and I don't want to keep you guys any any longer than you have to be here. So She spilled enough tea tonight. Uh. <laughs> Unintentional. <laughs> All right, kids. So, yes, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Black Lightning. Uh, should, we, should we do this again for a, what, Flash finale? Let's do it for the... F- yeah, the finales of, uh, like, Flash and, um, Superman and Lois. I should be able to binge it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we, yeah. So I can talk about it. Okay, so, yeah, kids, we'll be back for the finale, for the finales and probably for, you know, Flash season 8 pr- premiere. Oh, we'll definitely do Stargirl and stuff, too, so. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I just mean we do so many shows, I didn't know how much, oh, uh, but, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, when's Stargirl starting? Is that... It's the summer, so... I thought it was July or August, I thought. Yeah, let me just double check. <laughs> probably because, you know, the seasons run so late, they're probably waiting for, like, you know, air... Uh, Is it August 10th, really? That's well, what they're saying? Well, yeah, because... That can't be. Well, because the shows started so late and everything, they're probably waiting for Flash and Superman and everybody to wrap up their seasons, probably. That is true. I forgot how, like... <laughs> how far along we are. I'm like, wait, it's May and we don't have finales? Like, the pandemic has ruined my TV schedule, exactly. which is why I don't watch TV anymore. Yeah, because, I mean, think about it. It's the last week. I'm like, shouldn't Star City, I was like, shouldn't um, Central City be on fire by now? <laughs> yeah, seriously, it's it's the last week of May. Everything should be wrapped up by now, but yeah, no, it's like, what's Flash's... What is it on the... I don't know how we're ever going to get back on schedule. I really don't. Why? I, I think they're I think they're going to short it. They're probably- they said that they said that they're definitely coming back mid October, like they used to next season. So, yeah, so that's the thing. They're probably just going to get a short break in between, and yeah, get right back to work. Probably so. Oof! I'm 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 ready to get back to normal. Where a show starts in October, ends in May, with that long ass Christmas break in between. <laughs> I think this fall where we're going to get back to normal. Yeah, schedule wise. Here's hoping, and here's hoping I can actually hear about the Arrowverse next season. Oh, but do you see, was it Berlani or somebody? It was like, <clears throat> when they were announcing those Flash episodes, they were like, the Arrowverse, or as he called them, the CW-verse, you know. Ooh, he kissing booty! He know he mad about that! He know, he he made the CW what it is today. I, I would be so personally offended if I was Greg Berlanti. He may, if, if it wasn't for him, Riverdale would not be a thing. That's his other universe on the CW. Like, come on. Come on. That is rude as hell. I'll, I'll die on that hill for him. And I don't, y'all know how I feel about Berlanti. And I will die on that hill for him. That's rude as hell. See, kids, I know how to push those buttons. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> All right. So, yes. Yeah, so, yes, we'll be back for the finales of Flash and Superman and Lois. Yeah. So, but hey, in the meantime, send us your thoughts. I mean, we'll can read them on other shows or when we get do get those finales hey what did you think john henry irons uh he even had the hammer somebody get Shaq on the phone at least i'd be entertained oh my all right so send your thoughts kids email us capes and lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737 that's 614-38capes Thank you, Lilith. And remember, you can, you can still follow Legends of the Arrowverse on Facebook, on Twitter. Find links to all of the various social medias for all of our many, many shows. Uh, links to this uh, YouTube channel. Please go subscribe. We're so close to 169. Do it for make, me. Make mama proud. Get me to 169. Hey-o. Hey-o. Again, watch her spill her tea in crystal clear HD uh, video. Uh <laughs> Uh, so yes, links to this, links to our Patreon, more and more things coming there, hard R movie reviews, uncensored Wade's World, uh, oh yeah, that's right, we got our, uh, we're gonna have a D- uh, Deadpool 30th anniversary special, well, on the regular podcast and on Patreon, and subscribe to Patreon now, and you'll get, uh, from the vault, seven episodes of our, uh, long Halloween review. From the vault, you're so cute. From the vault, man, it's like 2015, 2016. Hey man, we're Disney from the vault. We locked it. Go subscribe to Patreon now before we lock them back in the vault. 
So yes, links to the Patreon, links to merch. Stay hydrated. Yeah, stay hydrated. Uh, so all of that you can find it all in one in one place. Linktree l i n k t r dot e e slash capes and lunatics. And please remember to support our sponsors, Tweaked Audio. Get Here. yourself some in ear, some high quality in ear headphones for your podcast and music listening needs. Hear Lilith, Bash the Arrowverse, and Crystal Clear HD quality. Just the rage. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, Charlie. I am a very toxic DC fan. I don't want to be in a non toxic DC. If I can't vent and go off, I don't want to be in that fan club. I don't want to be in that fan group. But I'm like, really? These people get on his, on his case? I'm like, I see people mouthing off on them about stuff, and I'm just like, they don't read comics. They don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we are so, we're the worst kind of nerds, but it's true. That's how I feel. <laughs> I mean, well, again, don't act like an expert, but you've never picked up a comic book. It's like, I, I, you could be a fan and just watch this stuff. That's fine, but don't pretend you're like some, you know, scholarly expert on stuff. Yeah, you didn't give a lecture. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't sit through. Oh, uh, no, I was going to say, you didn't sit through 90s comics, kids. You can't comment. <laughs> you, uh, you didn't, on that note. You didn't sit through Mullet Superman. Look, now Lil's or Mullet Nightwing. Oh, now Lil's pushing my buttons. All right, so yeah. <laughs> and make sure you pick up Hunt a Killer. Michelle Gray needs your help because all Arrowverse heroes are incompetent and the killer always gets away. So Michelle Gray needs your help. If you want to feel fulfilled by hunting a killer, do that. Use the handy dandy code Southgate on both Tweets Audio and to hunt a killer for a handy dandy discount. Southgate. And... Sometimes it's good to turn off the TV and go pick up a book. Go pick up Podlink yes. book. Yes. Now with digital paperback. Audio version coming soon. Learn all about podcasting from some experts and Robert Southgate. And if you don't want to read that book necessarily, uh, you can always go to Amazon. But when you do, be sure to use that, uh, that link down in the show notes when you go to Amazon. That's right, Lil Hellfire. Yes, because it help, doesn't affect you at all, but it helps us support all our shows, the Southgate Media Group Network, and that man who you that man in a hood. That man you thought was one thing and turned out to be a completely other man with a hammer. Rob Master Doom <laughs> Southgate. Make it rain. Nice. So says Master Doom. Please kick me in the pants. Mark my words. Absolutely. Why did your eye drift over to my box, Lilith? Uh, if you nerds want to hang out with me um, on the interwebs, you can find me on Twitter at Lilith Hellfire, on Instagram at Lilith Hellfire 69, and on TikTok at Lilith Hellfire 69. Coming out of the bush? I gotta stop drinking, man. Uh, why? You hit him right in the face with that sack. So, it's not Christmas time yet. Oh, Santa. All right, kids. Again, thank you for joining us. Come back for The Flash and Superman and Lois. I wonder if those are on the same week or not. Well, Superman, start, it, Superman started a week earlier before Flash. So I wonder. And did they get the same episode count? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. But, they, uh, but Superman did take a bigger break, too, so. I don't know. I'm trying to get the high of people. It's Wonder Woman. Oh, is it? It's hard to tell. I can... Okay, yeah, we'll talk to And she's got her kangaroo. <gasps> I think that's nightly the kangaroo. That is so many might like that. Like <laughs> Out of the pouch, boing! Hey-o. So, again, season finale. But until then, we will be back. In a flash. And not such a flash. Oh.